tablespoon, I've got my cocoa, flour, and salt. I'm gonna go ahead and whisk this together. I've got half a cup of butter melting here on the stove. Next, I'm going to add one and one eighth cup of super fine sugar. You can also just use regular sugar, that's what I'm using. In my measuring cup, I don't actually have a quart, one eighth cup, so I am just doing half of a quarter cup. And as you can see, I've got measurements here on my measuring cup, so I'm gonna pour the eighth cup in my bowl first and then fill this up with my one cup of sugar. I've cracked my eggs into a bowl. I like to make sure that I crack my eggs into a completely separate bowl than what I'm actually using for the rest of the ingredients. You never know if you're going to get a shell or if you're going to have a bad egg and trust me, I've had that experience before. To my eggs, I'm going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Pour your melted butter into your sugar. I like to use a rubber spatula to make sure that I get all of the butter out of the pan. You don't want to waste any ingredients. To this mix, you're going to add a tablespoon of cooking oil. I am going to use avocado oil. You're going to mix your sugar and your butter really, really well until it's all combined. Your oil is also in this mix as well. Next you're going to whisk in your egg and vanilla mixture and you're going to give this a good whisk for about a minute. And this step is crucial to get that crackly top. This is what it will look like. I also used a rubber spatula to scrape down the sides to make sure that everything was being incorporated. Next, you're going to want to gently fold in the dry ingredients, so the cocoa, the flour, and the salt that we have already whisked together, and we're going to go ahead and fold this into the batter. Just simply going around and around the bowl, folding in your batter will result it looking like this. You don't want to over mix your batter at all. That's what's gonna give a, um, a really tough texture to your brownies and you don't wanna overwork the gluten in the flour. So just gently fold in and it will come together in about a minute's time. So we're going to lightly grease an eight inch square baking pan with some cooking oil spray. I'm actually gonna probably use butter because I don't have cooking oil spray. And then we're gonna line the, um, the pan with parchment paper. This is gonna help prevent the brownies from sticking inside the pan. So this is what your prepared pan is going to look like. And then we are going to go ahead and add our brownie batter. Then you're gonna just smooth out the brownie batter, evenly distribute it into the entire pan. As an optional step, you can go ahead and sprinkle some chocolate chips on top. Then we're gonna put it in a 350 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. The author of the recipe says that she actually likes to bake it for 21 minutes and 30 seconds. So this is a brownie that you definitely do not want to overbake. So this is what it looks like when it's come out of the oven. You want to make sure that the center is not jiggling anymore, although the top will be just um, hard to the touch. If you insert a toothpick, it might come out kind of dirty, and that's okay. That's what you want. It'll continue to cook in the pan. You just don't want the center to be super jiggly. So I actually left my in, mine in for probably between 5 and 10 extra minutes. I'd initially set my timer for 20 minutes. So. I went ahead and did add 
um, another five minute session and then another five minute session after that and it is gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna just let it sit in the pan for a while before slicing.